Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. I'm kind of in a cab drinking type of mood today. It's been fairly hot lately, but um, there was a, a, a quick little cool snap that uh, that came through the Bay Area uh, over the last couple of days. And when it gets just a little bit cooler, I feel like drinking Cabernet. So I do have this uh, sample right here. This is 50 Harvests. This is a new label from the Scotto family. They've been making wine for a while. Uh, and actually the 50 Harvests uh, label there uh, signifies their 50 years of winemaking. Um, but this is a new wine that they're making from the Napa Valley. All these grapes were harvested in the uh, uh, Oak Knoll District uh, along the Silverado Trail there. Great place to go um, wine tasting, by the way, if you don't like the main strip along the uh, Napa Valley. If you stick to the Silverado Trail, it's not as bumper to bumper sometimes. So just a little tip for you guys. Um, this is their... 2011 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. It is 96%, uh, 94% Cabernet Sauvignon and 6% uh, Petit Verdot. And again, from uh, various vineyards in the uh, Oak Knoll District. I like the fact that they sent me this sample in a 375 milliliter uh, bottle. So this is a half bottle right here. Um, it's always just kind of neat if you ever get the opportunity to taste the exact same wine in a half bottle and a regular bottle format. And then also like uh, if you could do in a magnum as well. Um, it's really neat to see how the exact same wine ages so differently over the years. So. This is a 2011. It did spend 18 months in new French oak and then it was in neutral oak barrels for, uh, I think they were saying a, a couple years after that. So, I mean, here we are in, in 2014. This has already got a little bit of age to it. Regularly, this is $50 uh, for a 750 milliliter bottle. Um, Color-wise, I mean, you got your typical uh, ruby red Cabernet Sauvignon color. It's vari varietally uh, correct there. On the nose. Wow, getting big berry fruit uh, aromas there. So I am getting just off the bat, like these big blackberry and uh, and blueberry and plum and cassis. Cassis type of notes as well. There is almost kind of like a, a, a peppery type of spice as well, like green bell pepper spice on the nose, which I kind of like. And that's probably coming from that Petit Verdot. And there's a general um, roundness, fullness to the nose. Um, you get a little bit of a sense of oak on the nose there as well. Let's give it a whirl. You know, this is the body and the mouthfeel that we would be looking for in a Napa Valley Cabernet. I mean, nice big tannins, not overly aggressive. They are a little astringent on the back end. You get a sense of that oak that's there, but it's not in your face. It's not like I'm feeling like I'm picking splinters out of my mouth. Uh, it, it's odd to me when I look and see how much um, new French oak they put on that. 18 months in new French and then two years in neutral oak barrels. Um, they held on to these bottles long enough um, for the oak to kind of mellow out. There's a little bit of that sense of vanilla on there. Um, but yeah, not really over the top and in your face uh, in that sense. Um, it's got those nice, you know, chalky, powdery notes um, that I like in a good Cabernet. Mm -hmm. 
there's almost a sense, you know, as far as the fruit, there's almost kind of like a, um, a raisiny uh, type of characteristic. Um, nice like plum notes. There's a little bit of like red apple in there as well. A little bit of tart cherry on the back end. And there's these nice like secondary type of herbal notes. Um, you know, this isn't like this super big time over the top Cabernet. Um, I will say as far as Napa Valley cabs go, it's, it's more laid back um, than most approaches. It's not overwhelming you and, and slamming you in the face with, with oak and, and just super big fruit. Um, this has a, a little bit of elegance to it. It's weird when you say a little bit of elegance, but it's, it's there. Um, you know, as far as alcohol wise, we're looking at 13.9% alcohol. So on the uh, 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 mid to, to, to lower end of, of alcohol in terms of uh, what you would find in an Apra Valley uh, Cabernet. Yeah, some nice good, I, I'm just keep going back to this like red apple, like red apple skin, which is kind of fun for a cab. Um, you know, I, I the thing that's throwing me here and, and, and the thing that I really got to ding these guys for is um, it's 50 bucks. And granted, it's Napa Valley, Valley fruit, it's Oak Knoll fruit. And, and I know that that commands a good price. I know that they put a lot into it money-wise in terms of hand harvesting this fruit, in terms of brand new French oak barrels. Um, just that whole process commands a price. But I gotta say, I mean, the, it's one of those, uh, like, uh, sorry to steal phrases from Gary Vaynerchuk, but it's like one of these like um, Casper the, the friendly ghost type of things where it's like, it's, it's there and then it's gone. Um, the, the mid palate is, is, is very, very hollow. There's not um, much of a, a lasting finish. And you know, if I were seeing this as like a $20 Cabernet, I'd say it's something that, that is, is definitely worth, worth seeking out at $50 a bottle. And, and I hate to do this, um, Man, I hate doing this, especially when, it, when it's a sample. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I hate to, to um, I mean, I, I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I mean, I'm just, I'm not really inspired by this wine at all. And the $50 just really, really bums me out for $50 for a bottle because I don't think it's worth that much. Um, this is something that I would definitely pass on. Uh, that being said, it's it's varietally correct. It's 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 good. It's just man at that price. Eighty eight points and a pass for me, guys. Wow. I feel bad. I feel bad, guys, because I thank you so much for the sample. But I feel bad. Um, man, when's the last time you felt bad? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Till next time, everybody. Stay rad.